Hello everyone, this is Dom Segalas and today I'm really excited to share with you the world premiere preview of the upcoming Spectral Layers 12. With this new version, you'll experience a monumental leap in separation capabilities, starting with improved unmixed song, unmixed drums and unmixed noisy speech modules. New are also the unmixed instrument and unmixed soundtrack modules. For voice processing, we have a brand new voice enhanced, deplosive and an improved voice denoise module. Plus, powerful new workflow capabilities are here here, including editing multiple layers simultaneously, improved cut to and copy to actions, intuitive selection editing, new process chaining, batch processing, and individual volume envelope control per layer. Let me show you what's new. First, we have a vastly improved unmixed song module. The unmixed song now delivers significantly improved quality across the board with dramatically better vocal separation, major enhancements to drum, bass, and sax brass and mixing and subtle improvements to guitar and piano and mixing. This means cleaner stems, less time spent on corrections and more professional sounding results right from the start. Let me show you a couple of examples. This is a rock mix. And I must stand against the world and here I stand. Whoa! Say goodbye! Bass? Or a metal track. Spectral Layers 12 will even separate extreme metal vocals like this. We must stray from the The unmixed song dialogue now includes an option called unmixed sax and brass before vocals. When enabled, the module focuses on sax and brass and mixing before addressing other stems. So this is what I did on this specific track. I used unmixed sax and brass first and let's see what the separation sounds like. And baby, when that better jump right Let's check what the Saxon Brass channel includes. So it actually detected the harmonica, so we could extract this specific instrument as well. The unmixed drums module now features updated algorithms and can extract toms, hi-hats, ride and crash cymbals for a total of six discrete kit pieces. This process is designed for isolated drum kit tracks. You can apply the unmixed song first and then use the unmixed drums to separate the kit components. This gives you more precise control over individual drum elements, making it easier to rebalance process or replace parts of the kit with greater accuracy and less manual editing. So let me show you an example. Here I have these drums, they're a stereophile and they sound like this. And as you can see, now we can unmix the kick drum, the snare, toms, hi-hats, rides and the crash cymbals. So let's listen to these elements after unmixing. The kick drum, the snare, the hi-hats, rides, the crash, and the toms. And it goes without saying that if you want, you can use the unmixed song to unmix the drums from a song, like what I've done here. And then you can select the drums layer and use the unmixed drums to unmix the different elements of the drums on this unmixed drum stem.
The unmixed noise speech module has been significantly improved, delivering much clearer speech and noise separation, along with a substantial reduction in artifacts. Let me show you an example of the quality you can achieve with the unmixed noise speech module. They did not replace it with a conviction for culpable homicide. And now we can isolate the speech. They did not replace it with a conviction for culpable homicide. And the noise. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? When it comes to voice processing, there's even more. The Voice Enhanced module uses generative AI to literally reconstruct poor quality voice recordings. It can correct issues such as clipping, limited bandwidth, compression, artifacts, excess reverb, noise, and more. Voices are synthesized to address these problems, resulting in clearer, more natural sounding speech that improves intelligibility and overall audio quality while preserving the speaker's unique identity. Let me show you an example with this voice recording here. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog for the kids. So as you can hear, this is a recording that could be better. It's really hard to understand what the speaker is saying. So let's try the voice enhance module. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog for the kids. Job done. The deplosive module automatically eliminates distracting plosives in speech. Combine this module with the precise control of the eraser tool to take full advantage of the seamless integration of automatic processing and manual editing. Let's listen to an example. Plosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated. Plosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated. And right here, you can also use the different parameters to fine tune your deplosive result, like the thresholds, the frequency limit, and the reduction ratio. And last but not least, we have an improved voice denoise module providing exceptionally clean results, whether the background is noise or music. Let's try the voice denoise with a very challenging example. I remember the bus ride on the first day of school very well. I remember the bus ride on the first day of school very well. Spectral Ace 12 now features two new Unmix modules. The first one is the new Unmix Instrument module. Unmix Instrument lets you isolate and extract user identified instruments. Let me show you how the Unmix Instrument module works. Let's listen to this example. So what you need to do with the Unmix instrument module is to register an instrument that you have in isolation. For example, in this case, I'm going to select this guitar right here. You can select up to 10 seconds of the isolated instrument. All I need to do is click register instrument. I can even rename my instrument. If I want, I can adjust the sensitivity and just hit apply. And now because spectral layers learned this instrument and it registered it, we can see that it has separated it to the rest of the arrangement. And the benefit of this is that I have the rest of the arrangement unmixed, even if I didn't have it in isolated form so that I can register it. For example, let's listen to this instrument. The second new Unmix module is the Unmix Soundtrack module. The Unmix Soundtrack module separates audio into dialogue, effects, and music layers. This module is especially useful for post-production workflows involving mixed content such as film soundtracks, trailers, and radio broadcasts. Let's listen to this example. An experiment born out of a theory so magnificent that has allowed them to rip time itself open. So as you can hear, we have dialogue, music, and sound effects. And this is exactly what we can unmix here. Dialogue, music, and sound effects. So let's hit apply and let's see what the Unmix soundtrack module can do. So as you can see, we now have dialogue, music, and effects unmixed. Let's have a listen. An experiment born out of a theory 
so magnificent that has allowed them. Let's listen to the music. And the sound effects. We also have amazing workflow improvements. Edit multiple layers at once enables tools and processes to operate on multiple selected layers simultaneously. In standalone mode, tools and processes operate vertically across layers. You can target events spanning multiple stems and edit them in one go, ideal for refining performances captured with multiple microphones. Another thing that you can do, for example, is that you can select multiple layers. Here I've unmixed these drums and I can immediately go and apply the same process to all layers. For example, I can add the de-bleed module so that I can de-bleed all the drum layers in one go. In ARA mode, in Cubase or Nuendo, the feature extends horizontally. For example, you can use spectral layer speech processing tools in post on multiple clips located anywhere in the project. This functionality extends to all spectral layers tools and processes. Now let me show you how this feature can really improve your workflow when you're working in ARA mode. For example, in this case, I have some drums loaded and I'm using spectral layers as an ARA extension and as you can see, now I can see all the different drum parts, even if they belong to a different event. And I can add the same process to all the events. For example, let's say I want to go and unmix my drums here. So what I can do now is I can select all the layers, which are these layers horizontally. I can go and select the unmix drums module, hit apply. And now the process is going to be applied to all the events that I have in the Cubase project in this specific track. And of course, what I can do now is I can drag them and drop them into the Cubase project. And you will see that now I have all the drum elements like the ride, the snare, the kick drum, the toms, the crash, the hi-hats on separate channels for all the drum events that we had right here in this specific track. And of course you can use this process with any material and with any module. The cut to and copy to actions now allow you to target any layer within a project. Once a target layer is established, you can immediately apply additional actions to it. This streamlines multi-layer editing workflows, reducing the number of steps needed to move and manipulate content. Let me show you a very quick example. I have these unmixed drums right here. And let's say I want to consolidate in one track my crash symbols with my right symbols. So what I can do is I can go to my crash here, select it, and then I can either cut to or copy to a new layer. So if I select cut to, I can select a target layer and I can say I want to cut to my ride. And when I do this, you will see that my ride layer now also includes my crashes. because I might want to have them in the same single stem. And you can do the same thing, of course, with copy. I can select a portion of the audio, go to edit, copy special, copy to, and then I can select a new layer or I can select an existing layer. This makes moving material from one layer to another very easy. With selection editing, you can now resize active selections directly on the spectrograph, just by dragging their edges. At the same time, selection fades can now be resized in active selections. Achieve the exact edits you want with a new level of ease and accuracy. Frequency selection has been improved across the board to track narrow frequencies more accurately. Additionally, frequency selections are now elastic. If you move beyond a desire point or a counter drifting in the spectrum, simply move slightly to the last safe position to correct it. These enhancements make it easier to perform precise, frustration-free spectral edits, especially when working with fine or shifting frequency content. Extending the improvements in the frequency selection, the harmonic selection tool introduces a new, more intuitive way to select harmonics. No parameter tweaking required. 
Simply drag over the most accessible harmonic in your target, then shift to an adjacent one. The tool automatically calculates and selects all harmonics in the corresponding series. No more guessing or manually setting parameters before starting a harmonic selection. Transient selection is now more accurate and flexible. The tool locks into the target with greater precision and lets you include or exclude surrounding spectral content based on its power. This results in cleaner, more focused selection and reduces the time spent on manual fine-tuning. We also have new productivity improvements like the unmixed transcription, group ARA clips, layer envelopes, filter panels by typing, improved history panel, octave units, phase rotation, improved VST free effects handling, time estimate for the processes, and transferable tools and modules for moving settings across different systems. And for the first time, Spectre Layers 12 now works natively on Windows ARM. These are just a few of the new features and improvements in Spectre Layers 12. I hope you enjoyed them. Make sure you save the date, 2nd of July, for the official release. The start of the grace period is on May 28th, and for the first time there's going to be a direct upgrade path from Spectral Layers Go to Spectral Layers Pro. I hope you have a great time with Spectral Layers 12, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.